So uh, yesterday we have seen uh, what are the SAP products. So few products I have just mentioned over here, ECC 6.0, IDS, then SAP Netware. So this product we will be seeing the installation, okay? And the type of installation, ABAP Java and ABAP plus Java. So in our class, we'll be taking the type of installation that is ABAP, okay? So for you people, this installation is more than sufficient. And once you get into SAP basis and once you uh, get experience of maybe two or three years, then you can learn uh, how to do the installation of Java and ABAP plus Java, okay? Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. But uh, you should know what are the types of SAP installation. That is ABAP, Java and ABAP plus Java, okay? ABAP is nothing but the language which SAP has developed, okay? And the question here, uh, actually this is an interview question which comes uh, like what are the types of installations? So you should be able to know like uh, uh, there are these three types of installation, okay? So platform, I have mentioned the platform like operating system, uh, we will be installing on Windows 2008 server database. MS SQL. Okay. Sometimes in interview, they ask you like on which platform you have done the installation. So you should be able to tell this point. Okay. So before we start with this SAP Netweaver 7.0 EHP1, EHP1 is nothing but the enhancement package one. Okay. ABAP stack. So you should like yesterday. Uh, I told you, right, uh, you should be able to know what, what are the components which we need to download, okay, for SAP installation. So if you are installing SAP NetViewer or you are installing ECC 6.0 or you are installing IDS, okay, these components remain same. Okay, so that's the reason what we, what we have done is we have considered this SAP NetViewer uh, a, a product of SAP because uh, the database size or the export size is very less. So the installation gets finished in half an hour, okay? Other than that, it remains the same. So you, you will download these four components from support.scp.com. Initially it was service.scp.com. Now it has redirected to support.scp.com. Okay. Now, if you see here, first is installation master, you will download. Now the name has changed to software provisioning. Okay. As this version is older 7.0, if, if we consider the version 7.5, which is the latest one. So this installation master, the name has changed to software provisioning. So you will download installation master, export database and SAP kernel. Okay before starting the installation and we need to download through support.scp.com and we need to use s user id okay for the same so i will access the server this i will i will prepare one document how to access this server and then maybe i will share it on google drive only do one thing that once uh, once our class get over today so like everyone if you can share your email address on uh, this SAP basis uh, training group. So that will be fine. Okay. So that accordingly, I will give you the access link of the Google Drive so that you can access this document also. So now I will access the server. I will give this MS PSC, which is nothing but the remote desktop. I will click OK here. I will give the IP address, connect. I will share the credentials later. So here I will give the password to access the server. If you have any questions or doubts, you please uh, ping me. Okay, you can you can just put put on chat if you have any questions.
so this is the server which you you will also be accessing once once i will share the credential so you can you can also do the practice on this server okay so if you see here i will go into my computer d drive in d drive there is a download folder i will go into download folder and if you can see here the export is uh, downloaded in export directory installation master is in installation master then kernel then sql 2008 is nothing but the database okay so what we will do is the basic part is what we will do is we will extract these folders now okay so i will go into each folder export i will right click and then i will extract this to this cd so why we do the extract because this is in in zip format we, we will just unzip this okay i think you, everyone must know this uh, zip and unzip so i will go into installation master i will select this extract so everyone you can see this server right what currently i am doing right now yes sir yeah okay so i think everyone is in the call right uh, nilesh uh, bharat neha ajinke okay yes sir okay so i have just extract that i will go to kernel extract this kernel also then i will go into database so now here if you see there are there are six files okay so how we will extract this if you see here the name of this file is part 1 part 2 part 3 and if you see here in this column there is a type right the first type is application and others other are the winrar files okay means winzip files okay so what we will do is i will just take this application file that is part 1 okay i will double click this run so have you understood what 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 i have done currently see what i have done is i will just show you again okay part 1 that is the type is application what will happen this once we run this part 1 file okay it will create one folder and it will extract all this winrar files into one folder itself okay so we don't have to separately extract these folders for database sql 2008 r2 database okay because there are total there are part 1 to part 6 files so what i have done is i have double click this and i have click on run don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video and if you see here in download folder sql 2008 r2 and then you need to click on install okay so what it will do it will create a folder under this sql 2008 r2 this folder it will create 5103339 and it will put all this from part 1 to part 6 into one folder okay this will help us we don't need to separately extract the files okay i will just click on install hello or sir we, or we can yes so we didn't uh, to extract part 2 part 3 part 4 again no 
separately now separately we don't need to do it okay only for this database sql 2008 r2 because it it has part 1 to part 6 files right okay so i will double click this i will click on run and now i will click on install so once i click on install you can see here a separate folder will be created now there is no folder right in this so i will just click on install so this folder is created see this folder was not there right earlier so it will extract all this winrar files into one folder it will take 2 3 minutes and once uh, it is extracted we will see what steps we can do further then okay so if you see here part 1 is extracted so now part 2 it has started 